first touch on tech for 2021. Just when you thought 2020 was clear vision, this one is better. 2021. I don't know. Is that better? Or... Hi, I'm Matt, the in-house niftyologist here at Red Pepper, and welcome to Touch on Tech, where we get smart on the latest tech so we can share it with you. Um, now we share. So OpenAI is at it again, and in 2021, they have taken things almost too far with their DALI AI. It's a neural net that can generate images of pretty much anything. You just give it some text, like, hey, Make me a meatloaf snail, and it will make an image of a meatloaf snail that you can look at. You just can't eat it because it's a picture. But this neural net can generate anything you can imagine. You just got to let it know what you want, as weird as it may be. So are you growing tired of interacting with physical humans in the real world? And are you wanting to go back to a hotel as well? Well, you're in luck because Anna is a new augmented reality AI that will be your concierge. Pop her in the room and you can talk to her. You can make reservations for restaurants. You can ask her to turn on the TV and she's always there. She works 24 hours a day. She's never sick. I guess we don't need people anymore. This is sad. Do you think it's cool to have Anna as your own virtual concierge? Just imagine if you had Anna as your own virtual shopper in a 3D shopping video game. Well, Balenciaga, has done just that. They've created an entire video game to show off their 2021 collection. I don't know why everybody's not creating an entire video game to show off the clothes. Seems like it's pretty easy. Straightforward, just build yourself a video game. So as you progress through their video game, you'll go through a cyberpunk future full of clothes racks and flying cars and models with crazy looking Doc Brown glasses on that are trying to show you their Balenciaga wares. So if companies like Balenciaga keep putting their things into 3D worlds, before you know it, we're gonna have a VR world of shopping and it'll be the ready player one of clothing and retail. Love Balenciaga shop, sock shoes, shock shoes, sock shoes, shock shoes, shock, sock shoes. NFTs, non-fungible tokens. Short, you can call them a nifty. It's a way to buy a digital piece of artwork and have ownership over it for the entire universe existence. And everyone can prove that you own it. So if you wanna buy a piece of art, it's yours, only you can have it. And there's an artist called J.M. Sutton who's created an augmented reality app. So when you buy one of his digital sculptures, you can pull it up so that only you can see it because you own it. So if you could pull out something digital and put it into the real world, what would you put out into your own living room? You can comment down below, because I want to know. So an app developer has figured out a way to pull out lyrics from Rap Genius and actually put them into the real world and synced up with music. So just imagine walking down the street, listening to Kendrick Lamar, and you just see these lyrics showing up all around you. On the brick wall, you've got an animation. You don't have to sit there and stare at the little rectangle anymore. It's just part of your world. You can have your whole social media feed show up on your bedroom wall. You can have tweets show up on billboards in real time. So if your social media feed is on your wall, would you just scroll your face? Oh, wrong way. There we go. That's it for another edition of Touch on Tech. Thanks for coming by this new year, and we hope to see you next time on another edition of Touch on Tech. Bye -bye.